manipulate and effectuate a hallucination. An illusion, a delusion. I psychotic not believe that what you created is what you are. Three scantily clad lads intertwined by shady strings of identity ambiguity. Hear them, feel them, see them all. Watch their rise and indulge in their fall. Oh, you must witness now for have already said enough to thee. For Sordidy, who you've yielded yourself to be unbeknownst of your truest ID. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, as always, I seem not to get you. Oh, Dean Cooper. Always a pleasure. You're early this year, aren't you? Let me ask you something, son. Aren't you tired of doing the same two-step? And what is so important about this thing? You have been drawing the same thing for the last three years, only for you to get in trouble with me? But I tell you what, you're going to wash that off and, and do, do it all again next year. You got it. Do what over again next year? Let me check something. Mm-hmm. 
Mr. Kennedy, isn't this your last year? Oh yeah, cool. This is our last year together, huh? Our last dance, our final hurrah, last chance to cha-cha or whatever it is you people do. But you don't have to look so sad, Coop. I'm sure you'll find another socially and indifferent screw-up to chase around next year. And besides, come here, come here, come here, come here. I think I finally got it. Finally got what? Son, all I'm looking at is a big canvas with a whole lot of confusion. What in the world? Well, you know, to be honest, I mean, I couldn't tell you, Coop. I, I think it has something to... Wait, are you a Christian, Coop? <laughs> Not that it's any of your business, <laughs> but yes, I am. I'm saved and sanctified. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> yes, I am. You know, uh, that's what I thought, so never mind then. Never mind what? I mean, what is that supposed to mean? It means never mind to us, never mind to this conversation, and never mind to what my canvas of confusion means. Kennedy, what does my faith have to do with this mess that you created? You know, you just wouldn't understand, Coop. What you mean I don't understand? I can understand all things through Christ Jesus that strengthen me. Because hmm. if God got it, I got it. Hmm. You see, that's exactly what I mean right there. And I believe it's, I can do all things. <laughs> well, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> so uh, you do read the Bible. Well, I never said I was an atheist. And besides, Coop, even the devil's advocates can quote the Bible, right? I mean, at the end of the day, if it isn't written down in that good book of yours, you probably claim not to understand it at all, huh? Not to attempt to understand it. You might even dismiss it. Am I right, Coop? No, tell me, am I right, Coop? Uh, stop talking in circles. And look, I've had enough of you and this. But you know my drill. You know the drill to my office. Yeah. I guess I am right. Such confusion. Much confusion. He always do his lying thing and tell me right. I'm the one. I give, I give you three points. He scored 13. I'll give it to him. My bad. Excuse me. I specifically now, remember. No I specific, like, yeah, no talent. He's gone. He's gone. Alright, whatever. He scored 20 out of 21. Oh, but you gotta give me the four assists that, that I put up good. and okay. the last shot, right? The last the last shot? Yeah. The last shot. You mean shot. when you threw the ball up and it was an air ball and, and I, I caught it? Did. Yeah. And then Ali you did. That's what you're referring to, right? Then counted counted as another assist. You suck, man. You suck. Look. I'm not even. What is wrong? Look, real talk. What's up? How that? We friends, you know what I mean? You can tell me. How you get so fast, bro? You mean how I get so fast? If it's steroids, cocaine, I mean, I got like five dollars in my pocket right now. <laughs> Whatever it is, how much can that get? Is it a secret? Is it a secret? It's, it's called, it's called, it's talent. I mean, right. telling me. Uh, listen to this. We off the basketball stuff. Let's talk about the reality, bro. You're going to States for track. You have to be stoked. Like, I would be so nervous. Like, how are you feeling? Like, uh, I feel a little bit under pressure, but I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah. Like, really, how many people get to say that a year? Like, how many high school students? Like, you? Couple thousand. Couple hundred. Th most high school athletes. Most. Yeah, it's pretty common. Uh -huh. I might have to Google that or something. Okay. Yeah, you might want to get on that. Yo, but I would be nervous as a mess, man. Straight up. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm Dude, nervous. they probably got like D1. Everything. 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 Track. Soccer. Baseball. Lacrosse. 
basketball. Bro, they got D1 double dutch. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Did, and did I hear you quickly? You had said something about double, double dutch. dutch. Yeah. It was on TV the other day. It was like Kiki Palmer and that one dude. Uh, oh, my God. Corbin Blue. <laughs> Keep Yo, talking about little like, kids. No, that was a Disney movie. No. Yeah, they were giving out scholarships oh, and no. money. Like, you, you got to be serious. This is real stuff. You're 18 and you tweeted that. It's real. What do I you mean? You it's real. Else. I really subtweeted. Like, I thought you meant something else. No. You need. You have you, issues. You have issues. You need to deal with something. Grown you. man watching this. <sighs> Look. That's a shame. You need that. Look. Ah. Uh. They probably got like D1 lunch too. You what, your I mama don't feed you at home no more? <laughs> oh, we know your mom feed you, huh, big boy? Bro, I gotta eat. <laughs> oh, eat well. But listen, bro, you ain't got nothing to be worried about. The coaches That's are gonna true. love you. That's true. If you win at track meets, the fans are gonna love you. Probably. You know what comes after that, Aaron. <laughs> the the girls, girls gonna love, love you, dog. And you know what I'm listening. And the dudes. What? <laughs> what? Time out, don't we over the line. You better you better get out of the locker room. I meant as like fans, because like we what do you mean? Shut up, man. Y'all know what I meant. <laughs> no. no. You know my nerves. Y'all know I don't mess with them fans oh, around yeah, here. What? 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 Yo, you did it again. Why are you always he doing stuff it. like that? He Don't did worry. it, didn't he? Act like you Bro, you hit us with the good boy routine again. Shut up. Hey, yo, yeah. really, you did. Sit. Bro, Sit, down. Sit down. Shut up. You forgot. We know you. The real Stuart comic guy. Ariel. Bro, what's your middle name? I thought you knew me. I don't have a middle name. <laughs> it's like a celebrity. Madonna gets rid of her whole name. Buster Arms is just Buster Arms now. Ain't your name like Cletus? Cletus? What's, her, what's his last name? Like skateboard. <laughs> Stuart <laughs> Cletus skateboard. I mean, yeah, it's real. That's <laughs> but yo, say that good boy routine for the ladies, man. Man, y'all already look, know. Look, we know. You saved, sanctified, shunned. Well, we also know. <laughs> we, we know the Bible. We know the Bible, don't we? Yeah. Like those, those them three brothers. Three brothers. Um, snapback, <laughs> Maybach. And, oh, and, and that bandana fold. You right? Got it's it. Grade school, dude. That's grade school. Grade school. We know, bro. That's we what know. We've been about. We've been about. It's crazy. But we also know <laughs> that when it comes to women. My dude likes making those love faces, <laughs> making love faces, Stop, making man. love Come on, relax, faces. man, relax, man. Y'all know I don't listen to fast girls out here like that. Did you just push me down? I can. You obviously on the ground. Oh, I don't. And you put the wave machine. But fellas, if it does fall into my lap, I only have one thing to do. <laughs> do my thing, dog. <laughs> True. That's yeah, I remember going to middle school, that's what I'm talking chasing about. girls and stuff, you know. And you had poison to have me on your. Hey, don't talk about that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh dang, man. I gotta hurry up. I gotta turn these transcripts, bro. Oh, yeah, you put it down. Ah, ooh. Dang. What are you doing, oh, man? You know, I was trying something new. You like, can't be try trying something around. new. Oh. My bad, my bad. You know you. If I go to state, I know. Shit, you better do that before you end up like Scooby right now. TCC. Hold up, hold up. Whoa there. There's nothing wrong with the T, bro. The fact that you call, call it, it the T. T. Whatever. Already, Come on. But guess what? From there, I can go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I might be hitting up Princeton in about two years, you know? <laughs> Did he just say Princeton? What's your one point eight, big point? You can stay home to your mom, bro. Yo, now you want me to my mom? <laughs> Yo, you don't know what got a job, for real. Ayo, I see, ayo, ayo. Alright, I see y'all, I see y'all. owner to co-sponsor the event. Now that was simply brilliant. <sighs> Anani, you have such a bright future ahead of you. I really hope you're still planning on majoring in business next year. Oh, of course, Principal Lehman. Wonderful. And it was nothing. I mean, just common sense. Think about it. If thousands of kids are coming in annually to their establishment for their dances, why not both parties make a profit from it? No, I completely agree. It's a win-win situation for both sides. However, 
I notice that you haven't submitted any of your college applications yet, Anani. That's just not like you. I know you understand how important it is to do these things in a timely manner, correct? Correct. Well then, if it has anything at all to do with the cost of the applications, just let oh, me no, know. No, 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 Principal Lehman, it has nothing to do with the cost. I mean, I've just been busy with final papers and stuff like that, but look, I'll get them submitted as soon as possible, promise. Okay, Nani, I trust you. I do trust you, but I also trust that if there's anything you need at all, you won't hesitate to let us know. I mean, you've worked so hard as the president of our student assembly this year, it would be nothing for us to lend you a hand. You are one of our prize students, you know. I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate that. No, don't worry. But I kind of have this personal motto where if it's something beyond my reach or something I can't get myself, maybe I don't need it. You know I'm not good at taking handouts. Yes, I'm beginning to see that quite well, Nani. But you know, that reminds me, what did we decide we were going to do for those students who wanted to attend the senior dance and brunch, but couldn't afford the tickets? Well, ma'am, <laughs> we all know you're big on handouts, but the way I see it is, we can't afford the type of loss in revenue just because every Tom, Pedro, and Lakeisha wanted to enjoy the luxuries of a prom and see a brunch or we're just too cheap to fork up the hundred dollars. Now, I don't agree with you on that one. But I'm just trying to say. I know exactly what you're trying to say, and I admire your tenacity. But, Anani, there's one thing you really have to understand. There is a big difference between a handout and a blessing. That I know, but with all due respect, we are a public education system, not a welfare office. And you're absolutely right about that, but what's the harm in providing a few free tickets? Well then, since you're so adamant on blessing, how about we make everyone's ticket free and then go into more debt than the American government? By all means, go ahead, Mr. President. Watch it, Miss Rodriguez. Watch it. Do not let your mouth write a check that you cannot cash. I apologize, Principal. Anani, look. You are much too young, and it's far too early in your life for you to let money cloud your thinking this way and cloud what you know is right. Money is, is just money. It doesn't have any owners. It's just, it's just rented by the hands that it passes through. Look, we'll come back to this later, but as for right now, I've got a meeting at 1.30, and you've got class, young lady. Yes, ma'am. Enjoy the rest of your day, Miss Rodriguez, and relax. Things will work out okay. All right. No, I've got to turn this in. I got to turn these books in. Oh. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh I'm what so are sorry. What are you doing? I'm just trying to trans. Mr. Stewart. All right, Stewart. give it to me. Yeah. God. Oh, my, my bad. My bad. Let's go get the tickets now. What's going on? Pick up everything. Drop everything. Just get on my phone. Dean Cobra, can you just take care of this? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart. Yes. Would you like to be added to my tidy list for this afternoon? No. Well, may I make a suggestion? Get to class now. Are you okay? I am fine! <clears throat> Dean Coop, you are uh, you slacking, girl. You got people dropping their bus passes and whatnot. Take a seat, Mr. Peters. Excuse me, is this your bus pass? Are you serious right now? Do I look like I ride buses? <laughs> well, ma'am, somebody won't be riding the buses today. We'll put them with the others. And I know you have a busy schedule, but can we take care of our repeated offender? Kennedy, I did not want to see you here again. I'm sorry. But listen, can we not can we not call my mom? Do 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 you mind? I'm sorry. Just can I take this break? Why won't the lights turn on? Why are you snoring? Uh, 
What's this? Eviction? No. Oh, no. Dad! What? D Dad, wake up! What? Girl, stop yelling in my house. <laughs> Your house, for now. What? What are you talking about? Eviction? How could they evict me? I mean, us. No, Dad. How can you not be paying the bills? What are you doing with the money? What money? My money? My compensation for my service? What am I doing, Anani? I'm trying to make a better life for my family. That's what I'm doing. So don't worry about my. It ain't none of your concern. How is it not my concern? Dad, we have no power. We have no lights, we're in the dark. There's been no food in that refrigerator for weeks. Well, if you so worried about food, how come you going around buying these apple jeans and skinny bottoms, huh? <laughs> you could at least bought a Happy Meal or something for you and your little sister. And where are you getting the money from anyway? Oh, you ain't got nothing to say? What, you got a job or something I don't know about? Because if so, you could be paying some of the bills around here and we have some power. <laughs> what, ain't got time for this? Well, are you stealing? What's in this? Give that back, that's my stuff! Dad, why can't you just pay the bills? I told you stop yelling in my house. No, because I don't want to be homeless again. Daddy, we can't be homeless again. Do you know how hard it was trying to hide living in a minivan and being in a shelter? Daddy, Nani, I'm home. Princess, <laughs> hey, baby. Daddy! Thanks so much, Kelly. Girl, it was nothing. Your sister is hilarious. It was non-stop comedy the whole way in. Like, Girl, yes, yeah, she's a trip. But look, how much for gas? I got a few dollars. Girl, stop. My parents pay for my gas. See, mm -hmm. what you can do is uh, show me some of that new stuff you got, because you and I both know college is right around the corner, and I'm not wearing my ring man shows to the club. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl, you know I'm showing them to you. Look. Hey, Sam, come here. Give me huggies. Hi. How was school? How, what did you learn? Who did you meet? Uh, well, school is okay. Not a lot of my friends from sixth grade were there, th there though. My teacher says now nah, kids stay in school. She said something about someone dropping them, but I never want to be dropped. I love school, and I know school loves me. Sam, honey, don't you mean they dropped out? They weren't physically dropped, they just kind of... No, 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 they were dropped. Personally, I think some of my classmates were getting a little too heavy, too. So my teacher says now nah, kids can afford to stay in school, so they're... Come on, Daddy can't hear this. Their parents dropped them. <gasps> Please, you gotta promise me. Pinky promise. Don't let daddy drop me. Don't let daddy drop me. Okay, I won't let daddy drop you as long as you're doing that work. But speaking of work, doesn't a certain someone have some homework they should be doing? You see, about that, don't you want to do my homework for me? No, I don't. Sorry, Sam. The sniffles don't work with me. Help a sister out. <laughs> All right, how about I start you on it and then I'll help a sister out. Okay, okay, bye. She is a trip. Um, Daddy? Yes, Princess? How am I supposed to do my homework if the lights won't turn on? I know, baby, Daddy could. Get in contact with the electrician. Um, take this candle. And there are plenty of them in my room. And guess what? How about we make a campfire? Yes, camping. I have to go tell the girls. The girls? Duh, Sasha, Layla. Oh, those girls. They're not real. OK, fine. Bring those, too. It'll be great. We'll have Cara Machado's, your syrup wraps <laughs> on, and talk about Bad Girl Corner. Oh, yes, girls. And Cara Machado's. Stop. <laughs> Okay, fine, that sounds good. Machado, bad girl, all of that. Look, just go do your homework, please. Okay. With your hand and heel, give me epic. Epic. 
big Wow. <laughs> it looks like someone's been spending way too much time with her big sister. Maybe. Yeah, way too much time. <laughs> so, uh, about those new clothes. Let me see, let me see. Huh? Oh, yeah, they're nothing special. Just a few things. Like you've ever bought anything that was nothing special. Now come on, let me see you. No, they're really kills. Nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> okay. I'll just uh, come by one day when you aren't home and borrow something. Like, remember how you used to do something? No, you can't. I mean, you know, we're getting older now and we're in different sizes, so you wouldn't be able to get in my fat girl clothes. <laughs> oh, please. Like, there's anything wrong with your size. Not at all. Police coming from Miss Kelly Kells, Miss Pow Pow Pow. Yeah, sorry, maybe you haven't gotten the memo, but Chubby is not in style in any season. Where are you getting this from? Vogue, L, Nylon? No, every half brain broad knows that those girls in those magazines are pipe dreams. But I was on this guy's block spot, and oh my god, Kelly, you have to come to my oh laptop. Oh my gosh, and you think the perfect wall girls are real too? And even if they were, I bet their personalities are not. Yeah, whatever, Kelly, look. You're just not cultured. You're not cultured is what it is. I'm not cultured? <clears throat> yes, you... Kelly, you have to keep up. You have to have the look. You know, like you have your hippie urban girls and your high fashion label girls and why well, your regular smart girls. Look, it's just complicated. It just is. <laughs> right. Well, if that isn't the biggest load of crap my regular girl ears have ever heard. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. You know I didn't mean you. I wouldn't hang with you if you were regular. <laughs> it's smart. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Was that supposed to make me feel better? Yeah. Well, it didn't. <laughs> no, I'd rather be the regular girl with brains and a soul over the girl with the looks but lacks luster any day. You know, there was a time you'd say the same thing. I cry rehearsal. You do remember what those are, right? Yeah, why would you even ask that? Well, I'm not cold to remember. I had to make sure the church things were still in style. Come on, Kelly, please don't be upset. You know I didn't mean you. Look, we'll just, it's just complicated. Just don't worry about it. I'm not upset, Nani. I'm worried. I'm really worried. Kells, why are you worried? I already told you you weren't regular. Look, we'll just spice your hair up a little bit, ooh, add some curls and some makeup. I no, no, not about me. Nani, I'm worried about you. You really need to find yourself before you lose yourself, okay? I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Find myself before I lose myself. I'm not losing anything. I'm actually winning. Oh, this is cute. Oh, and I love this. Oh, I have to try this on. Oh, yes. Nice. Good evening, right, Dad? Hey. Yeah. You doing? Mom? How you doing? Um, I see you in there, Mama. You ready to eat? <coughs> Why are you late, son? Because I, I, I was on my way. I was right at the door when y'all just started. Yeah. Yes, mm hmm guy. Why are you late? Because, see, you are never late. But, Mom, I was, come on, I was, I was right there. Okay, well, wipe your hands before you sit at my table and take right. off that hat and your jacket. Yes, ma'am. There we are. I lost his manners. I don't know what's wrong with him. There's something going on. I don't know exactly what it is, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Son, we've it's... talked about this time and time again. I know you were not out wasting time with um, Scooter and Aaron. Your mother and I know you're about to graduate, but this is not the time to start slacking off. Your father's right. You know, State's gonna need a copy of your final transcript soon for scholarship purposes. How are your grades? Don't, don't worry, Mom. I got this. Uh, 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 I got a lot of control, uh, Mom. I, mm. I know you're not talking with food in your mouth. Manners, guys. Manners. Like I was saying, Mom. Uh -huh. Our grades are all good, all right? It's all in control. I got four A's, three B's. I mean, I was just dropping off some teammates. That's why I'm late, and I'm sorry. 
But, you know, I got this on the control. All right, guys, I just turned my transcripts in today. Just breathe easy. Breathe easy. You guys got it all under control. Well, I need you to understand this. A lot of seniors tell their parents, it's all right, mom and dad, don't worry, I've got it. And then a month later, they're struggling to cross the finish line. In fact, aren't some of your friends struggling now? Exactly. And see, we just don't want to see you following in their footsteps. Whew. You're going somewhere, sweetheart. But mom, I mean, come on, Scooter and Aaron and all my other friends, they're going places too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just not the same place you're going. See out there, guy? There are different roads for people with different purposes. I know. We always have to talk about this all the time, how you have to stay focused, guy, and God has such big plans for you, and what he gives you may not be for everybody else. And what else? And keep your ears to God, eyes focused, I mean, eyes on the purpose, so put your hands up, face covered, so every one hit you take, the, the devil, devil takes, takes two. two. One, two. To his face and, and his body. body to the ground. Exactly. We're just glad to see it's finally sinking in. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mom, you, your chicken tonight is really good. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart. You know that we only want what's best for you, and that goes without saying. I mean, your father and I, we yes. couldn't be more proud to have been blessed with a son that really stands out from those other kids today. But that doesn't mean that we're going to back off on those same principles and guidelines that we've enforced your entire life, Guy. Your mother's right. I can't count how many members from our own congregation have come asking for prayer for their sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. Either their sons going into the jail and prison system or their daughters the hospital delivery room. Your mother and I love you, son, but we can only show you the track that leads you away from the fire. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to keep yourself from getting burned. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. I get it. We're serious, son. Right? I know. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So, Dad, you want to talk all about the right track. Right track, right? Right track. Okay. Always the right track. Okay. You know what time it is, right? Time. Not, time for not what? That time of year that it's comes around every guy. year. What? Come on now. Pen relays, guys. Pen relays. Oh. There it goes. Oh. Pen relays. That's right. When is it? Did you seriously forget? Seriously? You know, Mom, it's in three weeks. I've been holding this team since I was in sixth grade. Y'all are coming, right? Oh, of course we're coming. Don't you worry. I yes. will be there. I will be there with my hat on. Oh, and my t-shirt, like guy. I got to make sure it still fits over the belly. Uh -huh. And the banner with your name on it. Yes. Let me call my family. Oh. Whoa. No, no. Whoa. Hold on. What? Janice. Mm -hmm. Come on. Your uh -uh. whole family? Uh-uh. You guys. No, Mom. Just you and Dad, please. That's it. That's all I need you to do. I mean, we're going to let your hat and your little fake shirt from Mr. Sure. Lee's printed all slide, but not your family members? Don't worry, son. You know deal with your mother's side of the family either. Hey, right. hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute now. There is nothing wrong with my side of the family. Um, except for the fact that they're all crazy. Excuse me? I will have you know. See, you see that? You see crazy, right? Yeah. Oh. I will have you know that my family, they are very classy. I mean, sometimes oh, you might get a little... What's the word? Ratchet? Ignorant? Loud? Not stupid? Rude? Crazy? Okay, 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 okay. Mary and Alexa, oh, yeah. I've heard enough kind words about my family for one night from the two of you. God! Yeah, yeah, Mom. Mm. What's that? What's that? Honey, maybe. Oh, yes, Mama. Why don't you mm -hmm. go get Ratchet on those dishes? But, Mom, I got Did I stutter? No. Oh, that's what I thought. Gonna talk about my family and my t shirt. You lucky I put your ungrateful behind on a t shirt. Oh, and Bishop! Yes, dear. Where do you think you're going? Oh, my God. What was that you stepped out my pen? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alone. Yeah, I got home. They, nah, nah, they didn't do nothing, man. I'm the man of this house. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. Come on now. No, I ain't getting trouble. They just gave me that stupid lecture like usual. Yeah. So you coming over tomorrow? I mean, come on. Come on. They gonna be out all night. Yes, until like midnight. All right, so you coming? All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. Yeah, uh, why are we watching?
watching football on a Sunday for the 18th Sunday in a row, huh? Because Ain't that supposed can? to be locked out the house or something? No, they're like five and two. You need to chill. <laughs> Whatever. I need All to right, watch the house at six o'clock. No, you don't. We're watching football. You serious? This is what we do now. Hey, KJ. Yeah, yeah man. Hey, KJ. How you doing? Uh, I know that there's a cookout going on downstairs, but shouldn't shouldn't you be downstairs helping clean up anyway? I know. And I thought you left. And I thought you were like painting the Mona Lisa. Oh, or oh, something. you're so funny. Oh my God. Um. <laughs> Excuse me, KJ, but please remind me of the last time that I asked for your permission to come in this room and watch television. Uh, Lynn, I could have sworn I told you to stop calling me your little cousin, and what does that have to do with anything? And get your feet off my ball. Okay, Kennedy, Gerard, Peter. Thank you. I don't like the way you're acting right now, okay? You ain't never played nobody's basketball, so I'm gonna need you to take your little slippers, go outside, come back, and try that again. You better recognize mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, man. I've been waiting on your Uncle Al for like 30 minutes now. Is he done with the fish? No, no, no. That's, that's, that's your own fault. See, see, that's done. Man. You see, everybody ate it. I mean, you see. Well, is he dropping any? I mean, he might up? go to the store. You want to ride with him? You want to ride with him to the store? Right. I mean, let's go. No, okay. No, no. You no, all right? No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. Oh, no. Oh, no, they did it. What is this mess that VET didn't put on this television, huh? Why do they have these two women all up on each other like this? This is disgusting, okay? Some, turn the channel, please. Um, turn the, guard no, your soul, no. son. <laughs> Those eyes on the windows. Really? Really? This is disgusting, okay? Nobody wants to see this on the television. Does anybody find this attractive? <laughs> Does anybody find this attractive? No, not one you, why would they put this on the television? See, Raymond? Raymond, Raymond, <laughs> Raymond, oh, you don't find this mess attractive, do you? Oh, oh, no, I mean, why would I find two girls together attractive and, hold up, get your facts straight, because you know me. You Come right. on now, you know I this, so, man. You are so right, I'm so sorry. What Re was I thinking? Really, Jesus. Lynn, really? It's not that serious. <laughs> not that serious? Not that serious. Not that serious. As if I don't have to go to work, the mall, church, and see all these tomboys and sissies. Now you're trying to tell me that I gotta watch it on this television. Our television? Oh, <laughs> see, that is the exact reason why my children won't be watching anybody's television, okay? My children ain't gonna be watching nobody's internet because this mess is trifling, okay? And I done seen the last couple episodes of Clifford the Big Red Dog. They give a little risque, risque, and I'm not having it. Um, <laughs> whew, Reverend oh, Linda, do you hear yourself? I mean, you're arguing over a stupid commercial. No, 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 you go, you go right ahead, Reverend Linda. Let her bury yourself. No, let's go over. Mm -hmm. Reverend Linda? Yes, go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Look, don't patronize me, okay? And bury it's a dead end discussion. <coughs> no woman. All right. That? Where's that coming Ooh, from? Oh, Father, I said no woman Does she has the no right to be with another woman. Oh, Father, thank you. And no man, no man has the right to be with another man. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, one time I both time. Oh, Listen to me, okay? You listen. Help me, give me the words, Father. Give me the words. <laughs> if we start accepting their ways. I said if we start accepting their ways, we can forget about procreation. Oh, hallelujah. We can forget about having a normal society, okay? You can forget about legacy because all we gonna have, all we gonna have, I said we ain't, can I get an amen? Guess not. All we gonna have, we ain't gonna have no more animals. We ain't gonna have no more trees. Oh, we ain't gonna have no more food. So you can forget about Sunday dinner. Oh, all I said, all we gonna have. All we gonna have is some homo robots. <laughs> and sin, okay? That's all we gonna have. Oh, Father. Oh, Jesus coming to Honda Lord. Oh. Do you, did you just uh, hear that last part you just said? I mean, you just said something about procreation, then homo robots, and then rambled off about our legacy. Right. I mean, really? Come on now, Lynn. 
I'm sorry, I've been screaming faith the last few screaming. seconds. Screaming, okay. she's been screaming faith. Bishop screaming has been faith. on it, okay? Bishop's been on it, I just, just came over me. <laughs> you are ignorant to believe it's not right. So, you call You're me ignorant. ignorant? Yes. What do you think the pop people of Sodom and Gomorrah said, huh? It's not that serious. Uh, apparently it was that serious. They all died in a flood, son. I mean, <laughs> turned into pillars of salt, <laughs> ate the fruit. Stop, read your Bible. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Lynn, yeah. you're like a walking hypocrisy. See, first of all, if you're gonna argue an issue using text from the Bible as evidence, you might wanna get your facts straight because I believe that the people of Sodom and Gomorrah faced God's wrath because they were sinning against God. I mean, isn't that what it says in your good book? And besides, Lynn, you know all about sin, wouldn't you? I mean, I don't see any rings on your finger and you've been living with the same man for Six years now? Oh, and here comes KJ to TK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got some nerve, KJ, to be even implying that my lifestyle is anywhere near that of a man who has a relationship with another man. You've lost your mind. Oh, yeah, mind, see, okay? I forgot that your sin is better than his sin now. What's the cost of your sin again? Oh, uh, okay, it's got the heat in here. I'm gonna go check out this. <laughs> cost of what? I'm sorry, did, did I strike a nerve, KJ, huh? Did I rain on your parade? Is that the type of mess you're into or something? Okay, huh? we're having such a good conversation, you know, KJ, you chill over there. You, what's your deal? What, somebody had to say it, okay? Okay, but for once, we just had a good moment with each other and you really messed it up. Wait, go downstairs and no, say, stop. fish. <laughs> I've said all I needed to say, okay? What are so you going in? I got work in the morning anyway. Fine! And don't think I'm coming back! Are you still here, Lynn? Get him. Uh, can I stay in here? Comfortable boots I have coming out. The heels have got to go. Don't worry about that. I don't know if you get too big to wear those anymore. Uh, size ten and a half? Uh, that's me over here, honey. Oh, sorry, ma'am, but this is a men's size ten and a half. Yes, <laughs> I know that. I know, but the whole store doesn't need to know that too. Your women's sizes are too small. Probably those foreign material with their foreign sizes or something. My feet are not that big. But they needed some American shoes up in here for American feet. Ma. What? Nothing at all. That's Nothing. what I thought. Now hold the box. Well, I do apologize for that. And if there's anything else you need, please don't no, hesitate to ask. That will be all. Thank you, sir. Excuse me. Did you ask him for a pair of shoes? No, but. Then why did you say thank you? He was just doing his job. Just help him, Ma. Mm -mm, no, he wasn't. He has no good customer service is what it is. No one has good customer service these days at all. Whew, you have to deal with this today. <laughs> I know one thing. He wouldn't be working for me. All right, Mom, don't be surprised when he sees you on stage this Sunday and he's like, there go that lady that came to the store and cussed me out over a pair of boots. <laughs> Boy, if you don't sit yourself down. What he's going to say is, there is that wonderful woman that I helped the other day in the shoe store. And by the way, those boots sure do look bad on her feet. Maybe if I had better customer service, she would have come back to the store. <laughs> That's what he's going to say. All right, Mom, believe what you want. Um, I'm gonna go to the men's section. I don't know where it's at. Um, but here you go. Behave yeah, we'll yourself. Mm, what? I, I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. <laughs> That's comfortable. Good morning, Saints. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> she had all the fine men in her video. Yes. Did you see her lipstick? Oh my God. So cute. Look. But let me call you back. Girl, I'm in the shoe store. I told you I was going to get them. All right, bye. Oh, how you um, doing? hi. Can I have a size G Medieval pumps and a size six? Oh, oh. Actually, got them right here. 
Thank you. Yeah, she's cute, I guess. But her top doesn't really match with those shoes. Whoa, whoa, what? I mean, you know, yeah, she, she's cute. <laughs> All right, man. Um, anyway, you know where the men's section's at? Yeah, it's, uh, it's to your right. It's over here? Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, have we met before? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't do a lot of shopping. No, I mean outside of here. Uh, you do any sports, like uh, track? Nah. Football, no. basketball, nope. I guess not. Yeah. Ooh, now those are cute, <laughs> aren't they? I just had to have them. As if anyone who's anyone <laughs> doesn't already have them already. They're from his spring collection. Dean Medieval, that is. Oh, I know who that is. Mm, they're a little high, but cute. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much. A little on the flashy side, but <laughs> cute, 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 cute. <laughs> they're perfect. Did I see that one? God, those are expensive. Well, you look like you could be about 12 years old. How can you afford those? No, I'm fine. Oh, she gave me the hand. Okay, all right, that's fine. <clears throat> Actually, I'm 18, but I'm sorry. Have we met before? <laughs> no, we haven't. Whew. Janice Stewart. But you can call me Mrs. Stewart. Oh, I'm a nanny. Hi, Mrs. Stewart. Mm, a nanny. A nanny. That sounds real familiar. Anani, have you ever been to the Helping Hand Shelter? That's where I volunteer, and you look very familiar. No, sorry, I've never been to any shelter. You must have the wrong Anani. Anani. Hey, you ready? Anani. No, give me a minute. Anani, that's not a name that you easily forget. And you know what? You're starting to look really familiar to me now, Anani. Are you sure that you have never been to a shelter before? Ma'am, I have never been to any shelter. What? Well, excuse me. Uh, Dressing room? Yeah, it's right there. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> what did you do? What did I do? I didn't do anything to that stink little girl. Ooh, she got my baby kicking. God, right before I have to kill her. Guy? Yes, Mom. Yes. You would never be attracted to a young lady like that, would you? Well, she was kind of. Th <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Me and your father raised you right. Yes, of course. Oh, uh, ma'am, can I help you with anything else? <laughs> young man. You got that? That's about the 93rd time you've asked me that since I got to this store. Is there somewhere else that you need to be right now? Uh, Are we, the customer, keeping you from something else you need to be doing? I was just gonna go on break before you guys walked in. Stop! I'm a customer! You know what? <laughs> I don't even want the shoes. Guy, put the shirt back. Why are you not even buying the shirt? I said put it back and meet me outside. I will never shop in this, put it back. I will never shop in this place again with your horrible customer service. How do you rush a pregnant lady out the store? Oh, and I better not see that little stink girl in the parking lot. I'm not too big to give a beat down up in here. Y'all don't know who you're messing with. Janice Stewart will shut this whole place down, quick. Oh, oh. I cannot tell you how sorry I am. I, I'm so sorry. No, 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 you're, you're, you're fine. I mean, you know, it's... What? What? It's, it's fine. Um, uh, all right, anyways, I, I'll see you around, my man. Yeah, see you. Dang. What was that? I don't like the way the lights go out. I don't know. It's probably just something with the power. What do you mean something with the power? That did not explain that bang. Uh -uh. Look, look, look. As, as long as nobody got hurt and nobody's buying anything, can you can you hurry up and get those shoes? Cause uh, I need no. to go and clean yeah. up and everything. And I actually left left the rest of the stuff in the dressing room. Um, yeah. Can you get those for me and hold them? 
Yeah, sure. They'll be here if you decide to come back. Yeah, um, have I seen you somewhere? I didn't catch your name. I didn't throw it. Ew. You have a good day, too. Uh, you all right? I can't let you go. My unborn child has feet. Hey, um, I hear this floating to death. Get your friend. I'm, I'm get, sorry. I'll, get, I'll see you around. Get, get your mama. longer than I expected to get home. And since we don't have a car, I lost my bus pass a couple of days ago and it took me longer than I expected. I see you had time to go shopping. Here we go with this again. Look, Dad, I know you don't want me to go shopping because we can't afford to pay the... Well, you can't afford to pay the bills. Basically, you want me to walk around looking like I'm Broke. So this has nothing to do with your clothes. But it does. My clothes, my shoes, and anything else that isn't beneficial for you or Sam. What time is it? I don't know. Five, five forty-eight. And what time did you pick your sister up from the bus stop? Here we go with the stupid questions again. You know what time I pick her up. I pick her up every day at three thirty. Oh my God, five forty-eight. Up an hour ago. Oh, well then, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? What's the big deal, Anani? The big deal is that you're neglecting all of your responsibilities. You didn't call or text message to say you would be late. No, you went shopping instead. Look, okay, I'm sorry. I've been busy with a couple of things and stressed out lately. So I just had to run it for every chic and get this new outfit for Chanel's birthday dinner that everybody's going to. Who cares about the stupid clothes? Who cares about the birthday party? What about your sister? Do you care about anyone but yourself? God knows what would have happened to her if your aunt's co-worker wasn't at that bus stop. Then how would you feel, huh? I, I don't know. I know you don't. If it doesn't come with a price tag or a label, you never know. You could have lost your only sister. Like you lost mom? And honey, I'm so tired of fighting you. I didn't lose your mother. She found reasons to leave. Because you got injured and had nothing. That well, it's the truth, isn't it? I was only 11. I was young, not stupid. Moping around the house because of your injury. You thought those few hundreds of dollars from the Wounded Marine Fund could help provide for us? She left because you couldn't provide for us, didn't she? No, she left because I couldn't provide for her. Because I couldn't buy her things. I mean, she was off for being around when things were comfortable and we were living well, but when the money stopped, her love stopped. I don't believe you. I know you don't because you're turning exactly into her. But I tried my hardest to prevent. Stop it! Just stop it. Look, I'd rather be hurt any, uh, any day than a man who drinks more than he feeds his own daughters. Maybe I should leave too. Well, you know what? Maybe you should. But remember, when your mother left, she left all of us. And that means you too. Mm -mm. He's lying. He's lying. I don't believe him. Why should I believe him? He's probably just drunk or something. He's just mad because I look just like her. See? Beautiful. Just like her. No, more makeup. Okay. Perfect. My shirt is perfect. My clothes are perfect. My makeup's perfect. My hair's perfect. My mother's child. I don't believe him! It doesn't matter. Stop that crying. Stop that crying, Anani. Dripping mascara isn't cute. And this top final sale isn't returnable. So get it together. Now I'm perfect. Just like that doll. Wait, I never had a doll. Where did you come from? Oh my God, Dad, where did this doll come from? Get Why 
what's going on? I just stopped by Kennedy's room and he's just not himself today. You know, something is just not right about that boy, John. What are you talking about? <sighs> talking about Kennedy. I just feel like something is just not right about him. Besides the fact that he's a teenager? I know my fine. child. I just know when something is up. And I just feel like he's hiding something, John. Okay, what are you talking about? Look, have you ever wondered why he doesn't play any sports? He doesn't have many guy friends, if any at all. And all he likes is art and fashion. I just think that those are just some red flags. I can't get to the bottom of it. I, he's an artist. You know, look at Kathleen's son, who is the star of the football team. Okay, he's bigger. No, Janice's son is the captain of his soccer team. He's faster. And the president of his class. You know what, my son always gets suspended for painting on the school walls, another one. And lately, all he wants to do is wear these skinny jeans that are just as tight as mine are. Okay, he's weird. <laughs> Abnormal. Maybe a little different. Uh, I'm thinking, you know what? What if I took him down to the clinic, sat him down with one of my colleagues, they could chat with him? John, really? Yeah, you, how about we just take him to church more? Oh, you think so? You know what? Maybe that will work. Pastor can talk to him. Yeah, they can preach some manhood in tune. Oh, so this is a joke to you? <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm just... Don't talk to I'm me kidding. about my son, John. This is not funny. <sighs> so now he's your son? Yes, he's my son. <sighs> Angela, I know I've only been here for four years, but... Every time we have an argument or something, he instantly becomes your son. Your son, who I have no right to have an opinion about. Especially ones that you don't like. Look, I raised that boy for 18 years. You've only been in this life for four. I'd like to think I know a little bit more about my son than you do. And I don't doubt that. But what I do doubt is that you take an adequate time to have a real conversation with him. You know one where you ask a question and wait for him to respond? Oh, so now you're going to analyze me like I'm one of your patients. Don't talk to me like that. I am your wife. I am your wife who is only concerned that her son just, just might be one of, one of those kids. One of what kids? John, don't play dumb with me. Oh, How you doing? Jesus. One of those kids. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. There's something I didn't tell you. But you know, a few years ago, I came home from work early. Kennedy was in his room. The door was closed and it was locked. And something told me to just stick around just to see what this boy might be up to. And John, you know when I listened harder, the boy was watching porn. <laughs> look, 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 we were all teenagers. I did it when I was a teen. Listen, this is not funny. It's not what you think. Uh, I listened closely and harder. And you know, it just sounded like he was Oh, uh, woo, uh, uh, let's not jump to conclusions. John, look. Just face it. Face it. He never has been. And he probably never will be. The son that you conned yourself into believing that he is. You know how many times I ask myself, why me? Why my son? Where did I drop the ball? Where did I possibly go wrong raising him? And what am I supposed to do? How am I, his mother, supposed to look him in the face every day, John, and hate what he is? Hate what I can see him becoming? And hate that if this continues, Lord, I just may not see my son when I die. What if I never see my son? What if I how this makes me feel? What if I how it makes me look? Look, look, look. What are people gonna say? 
look, before we go jump into conclusions and assuming things about what he might be or, or what he could be into, let's sit him down. Let's talk to him. You know, ask some questions. See where his head is. No, I already know what he is. I'm not going to ask him questions and make it seem like I condone what he's doing. It's not happening. Angela, no, we can just go to him and say, your mom and I have some concerns and we just want to see what's going on with you. No. No, 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 no. It's not happening. I already know what you're going to say to him. Your mother told me to ask you what's going on with such and such and if you're doing this and that, it's not going to happen. No, no. What I can just go to him. We can have a man-to-man -man sit down. Just talk, the two of us. No. Baby, we're going to have to pray harder because whatever this demon is, I know my God is able to deliver. But Angela, if you just give me a few minutes with him, maybe when you leave, leave us two at the house one night and we can just talk. What did I say? <sighs> I said do not talk to my boy about anything. <sighs> it's finished. I'm done with it. They don't know anything about us. Me. They don't know anything about me. But I hate them, okay? I hate them. No, 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 shut up. She hates us. Me. She hates me. She thinks that her faith can figure us out, right? She, th she thinks that her faith can fix us. She, she thinks that her current scriptures have got the prescription to fix us, right? Mom? You're coming to see me, right, Mom? Hello? Mom, this is what you hate, right? You hate me, right, Mom? Go ahead and fix me, Mom! Hello! Go ahead and fix me, Mom! But she won't. She's built for herself to live in. She always has been. So I'll just wait. I'll just wait. There's no way. Hello? I'm c coming. Wait, who, who are you? <laughs> what is this? Mom? John? Sorry, what you doing with my furniture? I was just moving around, you know, just doing my workout. Workout, mm -hmm. just move it back when you're done, okay? Yeah. Listen, we're on our way to service. Mm -hmm. Dinner's in the oven and dessert's in the refrigerator. If Bishop sticks to three closings, hmm, we'll be home by 10 or 11-ish, okay? All right. Still don't know why he's letting you stay home from service. Lord knows you probably need it. Me, Mom? Come on now. You know I got that big race tomorrow. You know, you know what I need? That relaxation, the rest, the, what do you call it? Meditation? Guy, you don't even know what meditation means. Boy, what you need is prayer and baptism, your demon seed. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Mom. Listen, you be good, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, I love you. Me too. Mm -hmm.
Hello? Yeah. You outside? All right. Yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, you know, thank you. Those real diamonds in your chandelier. Because we don't got them out north. Oh, all right. Nice. Yeah, thank you. You know, I, I just bought all this. And, uh, this is my new furniture I got. My trophies right there, you know, championships. What? Mm, that's so. Mm -hmm. You ain't contribute to none of this. All right. Wait till I get to the Olympics 2020. You're going to be seeing me way bigger than this. And maybe, just maybe if you're acting right. I don't know what. Uh, what do you want, honey? Uh, some. Baby fat purse, Gucci warm up, something. Baby fat, Gucci. Yeah. Uh uh. Uh uh. I was thinking more like Louis Vuitton or Birkin bag, some juicy Gucci Fendi. You know, fancy stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. Check out what you and your fancy taste. Where that come from? Anyway, so what do your parents do? Is they doctors, lawyers, dentists, drug dealers? Um, they got that job that they get you know money and they pay all this stuff and wow, your eyes are so pretty. Don't try to be cute. But it's working, right? I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's only because nobody's ever noticed before. Well, I'm not everybody. I mean, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. What? Somebody told me your parents was preachers. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? Who told you that, Monica? I can't tell you. Just tell me, please. Okay, 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 since you're begging me. Aaron told Jessica, and Jessica told me when I told her I was coming over today. Is it true? Oh. My. Gosh. I feel like a dirty heathen. Why? This is the preacher's house. <laughs> what do you mean so? I don't feel comfortable at all. This is not okay. Come on, Monica. You just said I had a nice house and everything. Come on, let's just go chill. I mean, yeah, you do. Have, I'm from Park Place. I've never seen this before. Oh. You ain't even acting like a preacher's child. What is wrong with you? Are you adopted or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean I am act like no preacher's child and I'm adopted? For one, you don't go inviting little fast girls over when your parents are away at church. Mm-hmm, yeah, uh, yeah. Where'd you go, it's, it's that way. That right, if you know it. Dang, can't believe Aaron told her that, man. He's supposed to be my bro. I mean, am I really adopted? <sighs> this house. What's that supposed to mean? What, is a, what, what, what does it mean, am I a preacher's kid? What am I supposed to carry, a Bible in my back pocket, just start toting around the word, preaching to people on the street and saving them like my daddy? No, nah, man, that's not me. That's not God. See, man, that's, that's not what it is. Whatever, man, but, but wait, wait, wait. So what she was trying to say is that doctors, they kids, they just, they just don't ever get sick. They don't ever get sick, you know, 98.6 all the time. <laughs> Dennis, oh, <laughs> Dennis kids, they the best, man. They brush their teeth three times a day, mouthwash with the floss. <laughs> no, oh, lawyers kids, best. Click it a ticket all the time, obey the law. But that's not the thing. That's not me, man. That's not me. I'm 18. I'm young. I'm in my prime senior year. I'm graduating. I'm going out to the world to see better people. I can repent later to God. He will understand it all. Dang. It's taking this girl so long in the bathroom. It's a bathroom. Monica! You all right? I mean... We ain't got to do this if you don't want to. I mean, if you're not comfortable with this. Hello? Hello? Man, where is she, man? Who are you? Where's Monica? What are you doing in my house? How did you get in? What are you doing? Where is she at? How did you come out of my bathroom? What, what are you doing? What the?
Get me out of here. Wait, you're the two people from the shoe store. In school, don't you go to Franklin High? Yeah, wait, wait, you that bougie girl. Excuse me, freak? Freak, I'd rather be a freak than Raggedy Ann. Oh yeah, right there. What? Take a look. Yeah, you should look, it's pretty bad. And how do you suggest I do that, Tin Man? What? In the mirror. One in your hand. Wait, this isn't mine. Oh my God! What's wrong with me? What's wrong with my face? Oh my God! You did this to me! Well, how did I do this? I'm pretty sure if I did this, I would have given myself a better outfit. You're lying! It was you! Wait, 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 guys. Let's just relax. <laughs> Take it slow. We can just figure this all out, all right? Oh yeah? Figure this out. Why, why am I gray? What, what, what is going on? What is this outfit? Where did this come from? It looks a lot cuter than mine. Oh yeah, not too fast, two face. Well, no, because that's my painting. All right, this is very yeah. funny. Yeah. Whoever you are, you can come out now. Hello? Somebody! Somebody, somebody get us out of here! here! Your name, please. Kennedy Peters. Anani Rodriguez. Guy Stewart. Who are you? No, where are you? Come out, you coward. Wrong. I said your name. Kennedy Gerard Peters. Anani Clarice Rodriguez. Guy Stewart. Say your middle name, dummy. I don't have one. Make one up. Guy Antonio Stewart. Oh, no, your mama's not Spanish. That's not <laughs> That's all I can think of. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Who are you? We don't know what you want us to say. You don't know what I want you to say, or you just don't know who you are. Both. Oh, oh Kennedy, Kennedy. <laughs> you and your humor. Kennedy Gerard Peters, son of John and Angela Peters, born on January 27th. How does it know that? I'm Nani Clarice Rodriguez. Daughter of Maria and Talbot Rodriguez, born on April 23rd, seven pounds, eight ounces, careless. Yeah, it looks like it knows all about you, too. And Guy Stewart, son of Calvin and Janice Stewart, born on December 31st, birthmark two inches from your left shoulder blade, and a widow's peak that you cut every year. Wow. All right, all right, all right we're done playing. What do you want? Money? Hello? 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 So who are you? Why do you keep asking us that? Welcome, welcome. By now you must be fully aware of the transformation that your flesh has undergone. Your appearance is now nothing more and nothing less than a product of your lies. You are nothing like what you were created to be, but everything you've convinced yourself you are. What? Wait, that makes no sense. Why did you make me ugly? Oh, Anani, darling, you're a special case. In your bloody hell-bent pursuit of outer perfection, you let your insights rot. So focused on how you're supposed to look, you forgot how to feel. No kindness, peace, patience, love, or faithfulness. Just a pretty little box with an ugly package, driven by things, useless, unimportant things. This world has now flipped you inside out. Your hair now brighter than 100 mornings, and your little clothes the colors found before a pot of gold. You'll finally get that attention you so desperately searched for. But your face, the door to the house of your soul. For as long as your heart is ill-favored, your face will match. Oh yeah, by the way, cute shoes. <laughs> What? Wait, no, ill-favored? You're wrong. I've been raising my little sister since I was 11 years old and supporting my father. Ill-favored, void of kindness? Hardly. Yes, but why? What do you mean, why? Why did you have to do that? Why do you have to take care of your family? Why can't your father take care of your family? Or your mother? Tell the class, tell them why, honey, tell them! Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, look. Just probably a few, a nutcase, a few fries short from a happy meal. Look, trying to play God. <laughs> I am not playing anything. Look, look, 
you must know something or it knows something that you're not telling us. So just tell us or it, whatever it is, so that let us go. This is obviously your mess that we've all gotten ourselves into, so fix it. Yeah. Whoa, not so fast, Kennedy. She's not the only one. Don't you have something to tell the class? Mm. As you may have already noticed, you have become a living, breathing, and walking representation of your work. A not so pleasant personification of your chaos. It's incredible how much you and your artwork have in common. You don't understand it, just as much as no one understands you. Why is that? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up okay? Shut up, you psycho. You, you're some sick stalker freak that around school files or something. Now I'm gonna take this for some voice box in the sky. Wrong again! I'm more than a voice in a box, I can assure you. I'm a fire in a bush, a writing on a wall, a dove on the shoulders of a prophet, a storm of blood, a raging sea. But for you, oh, but for you today, I am a voice. A voice in a world made up of everything you thought you could hide. You have become a product of your confusion. Let there be light! Who are you when the door is closed and your parents are home and near? Who are you late at night when all that's awake is the thirst of your flesh and darkness? Tell me! Shut up! Okay? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not who you think I am. Not! with the figuring out the right moves to make, you neglect the task of finding yourself. Just a pleasing and pleasing and pleasing. Say what you think people want to hear just to make them happy. Believe it or not, the worst person in the world is better than the person with no identity at all. Duh, why do you think you're great? You're now a plain pawn in your own game. God knows a little more about me than he's willing to admit. You're lying. You're, you're lying. I don't know what you're talking about. Your sin of spin can be spun no more. No more avoidance. No more deception. I am that I am. You know all about me. All right, Peter. Deny me, but accordingly because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, before long I will vomit you out of my mouth. Why are you calling me Peter? I I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about that. You little... Wait, Peter, like, biblical Peter? The one that denied Jesus three times so that he wouldn't face persecution by non-believers? How did you know that? Seriously, I'm not allowed to know the Bible? Even the demons tremble at my name. The devil himself knows my words very well. What makes you think a non-believer does it? He's been heard by those who proclaim me, but he knows me. Let me off! What is your name? Yahweh, Jehovah, Alpha Omega, King of Kings, God. But today, you may call me Mantra. You know what? Listen here, Mantra, or whatever your name is. Look, if you're the voice of God in something, you should know that I'm the victim. Now let me go! Sit down! Your help. How 
can you possibly think you can help her when you can barely help yourself, guy? Here we go again. Look, just tell me. Tell me what it is I'm doing wrong. I was never growing, I never grew up in a bad home. I was never, ever, ever abused. I was never mean to anybody. Never abnormally cruel or nothing. I'm just your average guy. Wrong again. My, my. You are on a winning streak, or better yet, a losing streak today, aren't you? You have forced what you know is right to pay the backseat for far, far too long. Son of a prophet, a minister of my teachings, yet you pick and choose when to act like you know who I am. I knew I recognized you. You're that famous preacher's son with the big church by the subway. Wait, you're a bitch of Stewart's kid? Yeah, maybe. I'm so? So? Don't you get it? Get what? You're the reason you're here. Your father's a preacher, but nobody can tell by the way you act. I knew I recognized you. You hang around with Scooter and Aaron, and they're only known for two things, getting girls and going nowhere. You're supposed to be different. No, wait. <laughs> you're supposed to be different, but you're just afraid. Look, 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 I ain't afraid of nothing. Oh, really? Stand up. What? Stand up! Oh, but you're not afraid. Tough guy isn't afraid of anything. That's a lie. I know very well what you're afraid of. The very thing your parents warned you about. What are you doing? Stop! Ow! Stop! Ow! Burn! Stop! Stop it! What are you doing to him? You're hurting him! Let him go! Your parents' ticket to heaven does not include you. It's your faith, your relationship, your destiny, not your parents, not your friends. It's yours, your destiny, your destiny, guy. It's yours. Stop it. Stop it. I didn't do this. Didn't do what? Your mother's acting so and only show you the track that leads you away from the father. But you, you have to keep yourself from getting burned. I can't keep you from getting burned. I can't keep you from getting burned. I can't keep you from getting burned. It's your destiny. It's your decision, guy. It's yours. Uh, stop, please. I can't control who I was born to. I think you should be quiet now. No. I said I think you should be quiet. I heard you the first time. No. I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak the anguish of my spirit. I will complain the bitterness of my soul. You know that scripture, right? Right? I'm tired. I'm just sick and tired of playing this role. Everybody wants me to be. Just because I'm different, just because I'm not like my dad doesn't mean anything. I, I'm, I'm not perfect, I'm, but you put me here. All right, I can't control that. I'm sorry, I make mistakes. But no, God, God can't make mistakes at all because God's parents are in the church. So what they in the church, man? I, I'm sorry. I, I screw up too, God. I screw up too. I'm sorry, but, but what do you want me to do? Just carry around a sign that says I will do no wrong and I love God? Man, I'm going to be whack and really gray. I'm sorry. But here I am. Flesh, blood, and people. that that would be the smell of honesty for the very first time ever you've been honest in front of your peers and in front of me your concern is in all the right places my son for there is one God and one mediator between God and man and that is Jesus those in my house and out of my house cannot get you to kingdom only I can but how do I please you and everybody else you can't I know your heart and you know my wishes. You can mess up, guy, it's okay. This is a race where only two players matter, you and I. This relay for right standing, are you prepared to carry the baton? I am. Remember, guy, the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong, neither bread to the wise nor riches to men of understanding, nor a favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. Do you trust me? I do. Run to me. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you?
should go. Yeah, what did you do with him? Do with whom? What do you mean, with whom? With Guy! <laughs> How long do you plan on dodging and avoiding your own issues, Anani? What issues are you talking about? I thought we already made it clear that I'm the victim. The victim? I am tired of your excuses. Job, a righteous man after my own heart, stripped and torn of everything he owned and he loved. He never turned his back on me with the excuse that he was the victim. Do you know very well at identifying everyone else's shortcomings, but what about yours? Oh, how quickly you forget. Take a look in the mirror. See anything? Look harder. <sighs> what is it that you want me to see? How long do you think it will be before she notices that you've been doing more than help collect money for the school? but that you've been helping yourself to the money to fund your lie, the fraudulent personification of who you are. And how long before she ends up just like you, only worse than her generation if you aren't dipped in makeup, fancy clothes and plastic? You don't survive past the eighth grade following down your shallow path of infatuation with things physical, tangible, and spendable. She'll end up with child with hate or dead. You steal clothes and money from people who trust you to fund your fake lifestyle, but she will do more. Her body will become nothing more than a ship that can carry her to the riches she desires. Look at her! Look at her! Look at your influence, Anani! How long will you continue to be your facade? What about your sister? Do you care about anyone but yourself? What about your I, I'd sister? I'd rather be the regular girl with brains and the soul of the girl with the looks but lacks luster any day. You know, there was a time you'd say the same thing. You need to find yourself before you lose yourself. Mommy, okay, can you just please take me now. with you? I want to be just like you. Find what yourself your before sister? you lose yourself. What what find yourself before you lose now. yourself. Until she's in your same situation or worse? I reached out for you and you turned your back on me. I am still reaching out for you. That was your situation, but you are my creation. I designed you from a colorless mannequin, hidden in the white, hidden in the crevice, hidden in the quiet of my workshop. I opened my eyes and saw the night. I slammed my hand on the sphere and made the earth stop. I spit into my hands. I formed the finest clay, finer than the finest sands. I shut in my eyes and I rolled in my neck. I puffed up my chest and I opened my palms and I created. 
hated you. I brought this world. I created you, not these people. Don't you understand this is past is the past. It's what you went through, not who you are. No diamonds, no heels, no makeup, and no lie will ever change that which you were created to be. My daughter, my princess, my queen. Now stand in the light of all your valor and of all your potential. I will never leave you. Man's sight is limited. Mine is unfathomable. Do you trust what I see? Yes. I said, do you trust what I see? Yes, I trust you. Stand on your mirror. It is no longer your God. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Come to me. Find me. Search for me, Anani. Search for me. Come to me. That was a wonderful show. No, I mean, I mean, really, that that was just great. Where did, where did, where did you get her wig? It's fabulous. Well, I mean, if there's nothing else to see here, do, do I go next? Do I, do I click my heels three times? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> no? Nothing? All right, well. Should I, should, should, should I just leave now? I mean, John, Angela, this is, this is really good, I mean, this program might actually work for some people, you know, the ones incapable of rational thinking. So I, this, this is it then, huh? No, nothing? All right. Rational? Your rational? The same Kennedy that spends 27 hours a week watching porn, getting high off of other people's sexual exploitation because you're confused about your own? Shut up, shut up, okay? I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I know more than you could ever imagine. I also know that you know nothing about yourself, nothing at all. The watered down you is the one you know, the blasted version that you created years ago. You won't even look at yourself. Take a look at yourself. Look at yourself, Kennedy. No, no. I said look at yourself. No, okay, all right, fine, fine. I'm looking at myself, okay? I'm looking at, what, what am I looking at? Hello? Mantra, right? Mantra, what am I looking at? Nothing, right? It's beyond our control, right? It's beyond their control. No, 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 never mind. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. What, 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 am, I, what am I supposed to say, huh? Hello? What am I supposed to say, Mantra? I love you. Don't tell me that. But why? You're not allowed to love me. I'm not right. Who says, Kennedy? They said. It's, it's, it's this feeling. I told you stop looking at me. Your desire doesn't define you. I can help you. But I like it. And it likes me. I, I don't want it, but I do. You're just confused. I'm comfortable. But are you happy? No. Yes. No. Why? Then why? Don't ask me why, okay? Nobody ever asked me why. Nobody ever asked me why I act like this, why I'm this way. I mean, they could just ask me, right? Because I have questions about myself, too. You know what I realized? This, this me that I paint with broken lines and incomplete contours, it's, it's not abstract. It's not different. It's just ugly. It's a mess, and I identify with it because I'm a mess. And nobody wants to touch the messy art. No Christian wants to empathize with that art. No, 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 we'll just pray it away, right? We'll let go and we'll let God. Well, who am I supposed to talk to when I get that feeling I get late at night when my brush strokes are heavy but my canvas is weak? You know, sometimes I, I wonder what it would be like if I was born red instead of blue. Who am I supposed to come to when the bishop wants to exploit you and the church won't even look at you? Who can I come to to fix me? My portrait. Me, 
There is no lie in hell or earth that I cannot wash away. You are not what they say you are, but you are everything that I envisioned you to be while you were still nothing but colors on my palette. Men can draw, but I am the painter. Your unwanted desires are a smudge that only I can erase. I darkened your eyes and painted your skin. I designed your future and painted your soul. It was me. So make me over then. Redesign me the right way before I went in it alone, before, before I dipped into the blacks and the grays and, and the darkness. Plaster me with your plan and shine your light onto my canvas. Make me your perfect spectrum, your masterpiece. That's all you had to say? 